is a recording for Precalculus, and this is uh, part three, and we are still solving multivariable linear systems. And um, so in this next one, uh, it's really like the last one, but without a problem attached. It says find a quadratic equation, y equals ax squared plus, b, plus bx plus c, whose graph passes through the points negative 1, 3, 1, 1, and 2, 6. So ultimately, we want to know... Um, <clears throat> constant values for a, b, and c uh, for this quadratic equation, but we have x, y ordered pairs. And um, so for this problem, we have uh, number eight. We want to find y equals a x squared plus b x plus c. And we have these sets of ordered pairs, uh, negative 1, 3, 1, 1, and 2, 6. So what we can do is put in the x's and y's that we know have three systems of equations with three unknowns, which are a, b, and c, and then um, solve that. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. And so these are x, y ordered pairs. So um, and maybe you've noticed that I kind of prefer to have my y, you know, at the end. So I'm going to put this as a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c equals, and I'm going to put y at the end there, uh, 3. And then my next equation will be a times x squared, 1 squared, plus b times 1 plus c equals y, which is positive 1, again. And then my last one is a times x squared, which is 2 squared, plus b times 2, plus c equals y, which is 6. And so then that gives me, you know, when I kind of clean that up, uh, it gives me a plus, or excuse me, minus b plus c equals 3, a plus b plus c equals 1, and 4a plus 2b plus c equals 6. And so there's our system, and I think this is a good system for you to try. So go ahead and try that and uh, find what a, b, and c are and uh, get it in row echelon form, and, and then we'll kind of compare our work. So here's how I went about solving it. Um, I took uh, negative 1 times e1 and added e2. Oh, just kidding. <clears throat> and when I got did that, I got 2b equals negative 2. I rewrote my first equation, supplemented my middle equation with the new one, and left my third equation. And then I'm going to take e1 times negative 4 and add it to e3. And when I did that, I get 6b minus 3c equals negative 6. I'm going to leave the first equation, leave the second one, and replace that third one. Then I'm going to make take e2 times negative 2, or negative 3, excuse me, and add it to e3. And when I do that, I get um, negative 3c equals 0. So just kind of being cautious uh, in my steps. And in practice, I might add a little bit more as I go. I might have even divided that by, um, by 2 um, to get that one. But I'm leaving my first one, oops, and um, then my second one and my third one. And then for step four, I'm going to take E2, half of that, and I'm going to take negative one-third of E3, just to kind of get those in row echelon form with 1B and 1C. And I could have done the, the one row E2 earlier, um, but here's what I get. So I get um, 
a minus b plus c equals 3, b equals negative 1, c equals 0. So solving for all my variables, I get c is 0, b is negative 1, a is 2, so that's my ordered triple. And um, then I want to remember, and I'm, I'm going to kind of go up here, that really I had this uh, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c that I truly want to find the solution for. And now this is a, b, and c. And so I can take that general form, and I can now replace a, b, and c with what I have. And I get y equals 3x squared minus x plus 0. And so I can drop off the 0, and I get y equals 3x squared minus x. And um, that is our quadratic equation that has those points, um, negative 1, 3 is 1, 1, and 2, 6 uh, as, as coordinates of points that are on that parabola. So um, our next one is kind of related to this. So we're kind of working backwards in some of these. Um, we want to uh, use some data to find our equation uh, in this one and, and kind of in that last one as well. So this is a, a homework-like problem. It says find two systems of linear equations, excuse me, uh, with ordered the ordered triple as shown. So that's going to be my x, y, and z and um, that, that I have there. And I have to find something. Now, for some of you, this is going to be a struggle because you just have to make up some values and then uh, kind of see what happens. So here's, here's how we're going to proceed with this. We know this is a solution, and this is actually our x, our y, and our z. So there has to be some ax plus by plus cz equals d. And what we're going to do, we have an x, y, and z ordered triple. And um, so those we can put in for x, y, and z. We're going to make up a, b, and c, and then find a d that matches or makes that, that work. And, you know, if we were um, not in a pandemic, maybe uh, we would we would kind of do this a little more together. But I'm just going to pick anything. It doesn't matter. And I'm actually going to write that down because people struggle with that a little bit. I'm going to make up an A, a B, and a C and find D. So I'm making up A, B, and C, but the D has to match um, kind of what will happen there. And so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to let A equal 5, B equal 1, C equals 3. And these are just values a student told me one year when, when I went over this. So think about what you've got here. You've got this that we're trying to figure out. I know A, I know X, I know B, I know Y, I know C, I know Z, and so I can put all of those in to find D uh, in this instance. So, hmm, I was thinking, do I want to color code this? It's a 5, a 1, a 3, and I'm going to multiply that by um, my X, which is 3, plus my Y, which is negative 4, and times my Z, which is 2, and that's going to equal D. And so what is that? It's 15 minus 4 plus 6, and then so uh, it is 17 equals D. So 17 equals D. So if I know 17 equals Z, then I'm going to go back to this kind of green, the green numbers I'm going to put in. And so I'm going to say I have 5X minus 4Y plus 3Z equals 17. Because I know if I put my X, Y, Z ordered triple in there, that's what I'll get. So this is um, my first equation because uh, I need three equations, 5x minus 4y plus 3z equals 17. <clears throat> 
And all I was to do, that I'm only going to find one system of uh, linear equations. So I'm going to have three equations and three unknowns. There's equation one. So I just go through this exact same process to find another equation. Uh, so I make up an A, B, and C. I'm going to let A equal 2, B equal 1, C equals 3. Notice, you know, I'm not picking anything like super... Uh, super weird or anything. I did want to kind of color code that. Uh, A equaled 2, B equaled 1, and C equaled 3. So I'm going to take 2 times uh, 2 and 1 and 3. So I'm taking 2 times x, which is 3, plus b, which is 1 times y, which is negative 4, plus 3 times z, which is 2. And that's going to equal D. And when I do this one, I get 6 minus 4 plus 6. And 12 minus 4 is 8. So that's going to be D. 8 is equal to D. And then I'm just going to rewrite it with A, B, and C in there and D, this equation. So I'm going to have 2X minus 4, excuse me, plus 1. My bad. Um, oh. I think I have that mistake over here as well. Darn, I apologize. Um, so that is going to be minus, it was, oops, it was just the x, uh, b value that I think I had wrong there. So let me, let me fix that um, plus y. And I was noticing that here when I was trying to pick the 4, negative 4 instead of 1. But b is 1, so plus 1y uh, plus 3z equals 8. And so that's my second equation, 2x plus y plus 3z equals 8. And then I'm just going to pick, you know, something else as um, my a, b, and c. So this time I'm going to let a equal 1, b equal negative 2, c equal 4, and see what happens. I've got 1, negative 2, and 4. I'm going to take 1 times 3 plus negative 2 times negative 4 plus 4 times 2, and that's going to equal d. 3 plus 8 <coughs> plus 8 equals D, and that is 16 and 3, which is 19 equals D. And I will try to write it correctly this time. So that's going to be 1x, which is just x, minus 2y, plus 4z equals 19. And so it's x minus 2y plus 4z equals 19. So actually, that is how, as a teacher, I can determine the solution and then make up the system of equations for you to solve. Isn't that amazing? So if anyone ever thinks to say, when would you ever use this? Well, when you become a teacher of pre-calculus, you can pick some convenient ordered triple to be a solution and then find a system that has that solution. Isn't that awesome? Um, so finally, that does conclude uh, this section 7.3, multivariable linear systems. And you should be able to use back substitution to solve linear systems in real echelon form. You should be able to use Gaussian elimination to solve systems of linear equations and solve non-square systems of linear equations and use systems of linear equations in three or more variables to model and solve real life problems. This last one, you 100% want to be practicing. The actual processes that we use is not very different than elimination that we've used for a long time, but of course, course, it's much more complicated because uh, we have more system, more equations, more unknowns. This concludes 7.3.